So here we are. I don't know where we are. Annecy. We're in Annecy. We were told to go to this lake by just about everyone. So we rode on, left Geneva, down through Annecy, really beautiful lakes down there. And we all went swimming there. And I was a big fan of swimming. And I loved swimming any chance we could get. We were just riding through the Alps, and it was the Napoleon's Trail, the Route Napoleon. Which is the route that Napoleon took, up, took when he was going up to Waterloo, which is the other location that we had stopped at, to take his last stand when he was defeated again by the English. Hello everyone, welcome to the Corps Municipal Campsite. Welcome friends campers, install yourselves. The, rep the responsible person comes later. So that's what we're going on. We're installing ourselves. <laughs> Let's go install ourselves. And I'm really, really, really tired. There was this one climb, I don't remember how long, it was several miles at 15% grade, and it was killer. Ugh. So we started riding up that grade, and it took forever, and we were just pedaling along, pedaling, 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 pedaling. Really uh, grueling, and uh, we were all extremely tired. We didn't have any others that were that hard. All of the climbs, like some of them were really long, but you just keep climbing and just keep pedaling, and then you'll get there. Oh yeah, this huge canyon looks really sweet. They must have blown it up right just to get the road through. <laughs> Let's watch that, Jared. I don't know. Uh, we were heading into Grenoble, and it was there that Jared had his accident on the trip. The small little downgrade, not very big, but I was going still like 30 miles an hour. Well, Megan, I'm sorry. I told you I wasn't going to get in any accidents, but I did. My face is good. And so this was like the worst injury on the lameness accident. <laughs> This is up in this road right here, let me show you. See this road, how it's just been nice and wide? It's got this dumb little crack down here. And the road had this little white line down the middle, and I thought it was just like a painted white line. You know? It wasn't a little painted white line, it was a little cement curb. It was like this big. I think I was kind of distracting, because Jared's going, like he tries to turn, but there's this little lip. And my wheels got caught and I just went <laughs> And just slid. And I slid about like over there, all the way here into this bush. That's all swell. He had the worst accident, like his leg got all caught up. Ugh. He dug into his ankle. The street had torn through my shoe, through my sock, and through my skin, and like just tore it up to meat. You know, I couldn't stitch it because it, it was just meat under there. Trying to scrub all the blackness out of it. I think you're, I think you're scrubbed. I think you're good, you're good. Oh, and then they had the bright idea of disinfecting it with hand sanitizer, which stung like... <laughs> my thing on my leg just get, kept getting worse every day. And it was pussy and disgusting for quite a while, pretty much the rest of the trip. And it just wasn't getting any better, and it hurt really bad. But he got better like three months later, and he healed up. Hey, the batteries room was dead on. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the three-star camping of Camp Camping Napoleon in Berrimi, France. Right here, we find ourselves in Berrimi. <laughs> we have two challengers today: Del Majors, wanting to go the directly to Nice route, and Spencer Steenbeck, wanting to go the grassy route. Grass has been highly recommended. Man. And we also have <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> we'll see who wins in this epic duel of rock paper scissors to decide today's route to Nice. <laughs> you have 30 seconds to explain your size. Oh, I just want to go the flat way. I don't need 30 seconds. Just because it's a straight shot doesn't mean that it's all flat. And my uh, highly recommended friend, my highly, my highly, uh, <laughs> my highly recommended friend. Keep going. <laughs> my friend that knows this area, grew up in this area, uh, Christine, highly recommended grass. Rock, paper, scissors. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Okay, it's time. One to one to one. Four, everything. Rock, paper, scissors. Oh. 
Congrats to this. <laughs> you know, you, you win some, you lose some, and I lost it. I'm all right. Grass is going to be such a beautiful town. I'm so excited. <laughs> The PNC Club was, well, obviously I had to use the restroom and it wasn't like bathrooms were readily available everywhere we went. So you had to get a little creative about where you use the restroom. And what PNC was, was you pee and you act like you're watching something else. While we were in grass, we're sitting there waiting, eating lunch at a, in the city center. And uh, I had to go. Yeah. <laughs> and I was PNC and over there by a tree. And I hear a little dripping in the background, so it already sounds like pee, so I'm like, they won't notice. By the way, we are in the very middle of the city here, the city of grass. And then I start peeing, and in the middle of my pee, I get interrupted by some French guy yelling. And some police officers stop him, and they were really, like, not happy that he was peeing in their city. Like, just a mile down the road, there's naked people on the beach, but him peeing in the city was not okay. And then he goes, where's your papers? And I said, oh, I don't have them. So he grabs me and turns me around and he starts searching my butt and my back, <laughs> looking around for papers. And God, I'm not anywhere to hide them. <laughs> so they just gave me this warning and left and told me to not pee anymore in their city. <laughs> Okay, so the whole trip, I had this conception that in when we got to the French Riviera, that I would go body surfing every day. Dale was really looking forward to the waves, and we gave him a hard time because he didn't know that there was no waves in the Mediterranean. <laughs> and I talked to everybody the whole trip about once we got there, we'd go body surfing. But all of a sudden, they wanted to impart their knowledge. They were like, there aren't waves in the sea. And it took me, like, probably a couple hours of devastation to like get over it. What's the like what's the ocean without waves? It's just smelly water. The beach is one of the coolest places in the world. When we first went through all these cities that, that first night we got there. Rode into Italy for the night. Uh Dale talked some some fruit salesman into giving us his old fruit. Dude, that looks like the bottle of urine. <laughs> I wanted some peaches and he's like, oh these are bad. And I said no, we'll eat anything. And then he's like, okay. And then he just started giving us fruit. And then he gave John two melons. And I tried to buy these, but he just gave them to us. And it was a really, uh, really relaxing experience. And then went and found a campsite there in Italy and spent the night in Italy. We slept in that day and ate tons of food. And we went back into Monaco and watched some horse show and went to the aquarium. It was really a pretty area to see and to ride around there. Yeah. I think we just did. We should just leave.